Intermittent fasting, what's the deal? Well, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at intermittent fasting carefully, answering three key questions. How does intermittent fasting work? What are the pros and cons of intermittent fasting? And what are the long-term effects of intermittent fasting? So that by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not you should incorporate intermittent fasting into your life. G'day there guys, I'm Jesse Crow, the traveling scientist, and after spending years studying pharmacology, I'm here to help you live smarter, happier, and healthier lives. How do you feel about not eating? Let me know in the comment section down below, because personally, fasting scares me. I like eating, food is good, and so I think that fasting would be really difficult for someone like me. But after doing a lot of research into fasting for this video, I think I'm gonna to have to try it out. So I'm gonna make a whole nother video about my personal experience and I'll put that just up here when I do. But for now, let's get into the research. Intermittent fasting is when you choose not to eat for a while. Some people might only eat for a few hours each day, while other people go for several days without eating at all. And that seems bizarre because food is awesome. Normally your body is fueled by regular eating. But when you stop eating, you're fasting. And after a while, your body has to find an alternative fuel source. A metabolic switch occurs and your body starts breaking down stored fats to produce ketone bodies to fuel your cells. In response to this, your cells initiate an adaptive stress response. It's like they go into survival mode. They start repairing damaged DNA, they improve glucose regulation, they increase stress resistance, and they reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. A major benefit of intermittent fasting is weight loss. Fasting increases your metabolism and converts stored fat into energy to fuel your body. So you lose weight. Another benefit of intermittent fasting is a reduced risk of various diseases. Fasting promotes glucose regulation, which lowers your risk of diabetes. Fasting lowers your cholesterol, which reduces your risk of cardiovascular disease. Fasting suppresses tumor growth to reduce your risk of cancer. Fasting increases your neuronal stress resistance to reduce your risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. And fasting reduces inflammation, which means it can even help with arthritis. And the final pro of intermittent fasting is that it's cheap. Do you know how much it costs to eat nothing? It's nothing. Save some money and improve your health. All you gotta do is be hungry for a while. So what are the downsides of intermittent fasting? Well, first off, you're gonna get hungry. And that's what scares most people away. We've become so habituated eating three, five, 10 times a day that people don't wanna feel hungry. But trust me, once you start intermittent fasting, you will get used to the hunger and it'll go away after a while. Another downside of intermittent fasting is malnutrition. When you're not eating, you're missing out on a lot of essential vitamins and minerals that your body needs to function. So make sure that between periods of fasting, when you are eating, you're getting all of the important nutrients that your body needs to survive. Also, the foods that you eat will directly impact the neurotransmitters in your brain, like dopamine and serotonin, affecting your mood. So depending on your mental state, fasting can make you irritable, moody, anxious, or even depressed. So all this to say that if you're under 18 and you're still growing, if you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant, if you're diabetic or a bodybuilder, or if you struggle with mental illness, then intermittent fasting might not be a good diet for you. It'll probably just make you feel awful. It's believed that intermittent fasting can help you to live longer. And animal studies have shown in mice, in rats, and even in primates, that if you consume less calories, you live a longer life. Unfortunately, these studies haven't been proven in humans yet because, well... Ain't nobody got time for that! Some studies are looking into the effects of intermittent fasting on survival and longevity in humans, and they have promising results so far. And it would make sense that, given all the proven health benefits of intermittent fasting, like weight loss, reduced disease risk, improved stress resistance, and reduced inflammation, it's very likely that if you choose to try intermittent fasting, even if it's only for one or two days out of every month, it's likely to have positive health benefits for you in the long term. 
So in conclusion, if you want to lose some weight, save some money, and improve your overall health, intermittent fasting could be an awesome option for you. Definitely talk to your doctor about it, give it a try, and let us know how it works for you in the comment section down below. I'm personally blown away by all of the research that I've done, and I'll definitely be incorporating it into my diet. But that's just me, you do you. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button down below, and let me know if you have any questions about intermittent fasting in the comment section down below. Finally, next week's video is going to be a little bit of a surprise, a little something different. So make sure you subscribe for more Traveling Science every single week, and I'll see you guys next Science Sunday. Cheers. Reduce oxidative stress and inflammation. Slow the onset of neurodegenerative. Intermittent fasting could be a date. A date. If you choose to try intermittent fasting, even if it's only for one day of meth, one day of meth?